Man, there he knocked the daylight out of it. <laughs> it's a little one, a little black, but first cast. First cast. Boy, there's a bunch of fish stacked up out here. I saw them on my side scan, pulled in here, got my cameras going. That's a little black, but uh, I'm gonna try to catch some on the jerk bait if I can this morning. They're just all kind of stacked up out here. I'm on the end of a bluff. There's a dock here. The wind's blowing in here. And uh, I love to catch them on a jerk bait. I'm going to see if I can do that. Good morning, folks. It's, uh, I don't know, December the 4th, 2021. I'm on Lake of the Ozarks. It's uh, 8.15, no, 7.15 in the morning. Uh, I'm going to get started here, see if we can catch a few crappie. Just Got my jerk baits, got some uh, dock shooting rods out, got some pitching rods. We're just going to go fishing. Stay with me. I saw some fish. I've got my spot lock on, just holding me beside this dock here, and there's a whole bunch of fish just roaming out here. And uh, they're down about nine, 10 feet. So actually this is a suspending jerk bait, but I've got it weighted so that it just barely sinks so that it'll get down to that depth. I'm just kind of counting it down, and then I'm just gonna kind of pull it through them. See if I can get one to hit it. I love to catch fish on a jerk bait on this lake. There's a lot of fish grouped up out here. Oh, there he is, boy. Yes, sir, they're out there. That's the third cast, second fish, and three casts. It's a good way to start the morning. They may not be giants, but boy, they're gonna be fun to catch if I can catch them like that. That's a nice little black crappie. I don't know, let's see if you can see that on my front camera there. It's just a little chartreuse. It's got a, sort of a purple back. It's just a little mega bass suspending jerk bait and I put a suspend dot that round silver thing that's a little weight and that helps it to sink otherwise it, it's very neutrally buoyant and it'll you can throw it out there and it'll just sit still I want it to sink a little bit otherwise that bill won't take it down as deep as I want it to get but with that weight I can just kind of let it let it drop down to the depth and then start pulling it well, I can't get it out. There you go. Nice little black crappie. Let's just see how long they are to begin with, right off the bat. Man, that fish is just a little bit over 11 inches. It's a little crappie. I'm not keeping any fish today. Man, I love to catch them on a jerk bait. That bait just sits out there and then all of a sudden it just yanks, a, yanks on your string. I saw on the live scope coming in here, these fish are just kind of suspended all around this dock and off this point. So I'm not really trying to pinpoint them exactly with my live scope, although I have taken a look and I see that confirm that they're out there. So I'm just spot locked, faced into the wind. Oh, oh man, he hit it. <laughs> well, that is fun. Come on, baby. Uh, oh, he hit it again. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna give you another chance. Uh, 
there are hundreds of fish in this group out here. I mean, it is just a massive group of fish. I'm using eight pound clear K9 fluorocarbon. I've just got my little six foot uh, B&M sharpshooter rod, uh, B&M Pro 100 spinning reel. Like I say, I'm just casting it out there. I'm gonna let it sink just a little bit to get down to where I see the crappie on the screen. And then I'm just kind of jerking it. I let it sit. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Pop it and got it. Oh boy. There you go. Another little black crappie just like the last one. What a great mess of fish you could have if you were wanting to keep a limit to clean. Beautiful little black crappie. Just a big wad of them. Thank you. All right, see if we can catch one out here in front of the boat. They're just kind of everywhere. So I'm gonna throw it out there and let it sink a little bit. Just start giving it a twitch. This water is really clear. I'll check the depth here in a minute, but I bet there's probably six feet of visibility. So those fish can see that bait from a long way. And if they're aggressive, they'll come after it. That sun's not quite up yet this morning, so I expect these fish to just be roaming out here in schools. They haven't sucked under the docks yet, although I did see some fish under there. But now's a great time to just throw this jerk bait at these big schools and see if you can catch these roaming fish. All right, let's go back out here where I caught them. Ah, there he is, right there. He's right on the corner of that dock. Another little black. Well, what's that? That's four crappie and, well, that's a little one there. Four crappie and five minutes, I don't know, pretty quick. I like to use these uh, mega bass jerk baits. I also like the Lucky, Stri or, uh, Lucky Craft, little 65s and 85 series, just small little jerk baits. But I'm telling you, these little fish will hit a great big long jerk bait as long as they are. They're right up on this corner too, so I'm gonna come out a ways. Hit my spot lock and then that should put me in position to throw right along that edge. All right, oh, see where the wind positions us. Back in my old bass fishing days, a jerk bait was one of my very favorite ways to catch bass. I just love to catch them. They just knock the fire out of it. Just jerk the rod out of your hand. You just be sitting there letting it just suspend just like that. Stop it and then they just hit it. And when a bass does that, a six pounder, that's pretty awesome. Almost as fun as catching these crappie like that. Oh boy, yeah, that's a little better fish there. Yeah, there we go. I'll tell you, I took that suspend dot off. It, this water's so clear, and it seemed like these fish were coming up after it, so I've got it more uh, neutrally buoyant now. I'll, uh, with the bill on this crank, or this uh, jerk bait, it'll go down about six feet. And uh, with the clarity of the water, I think that'll be fine. So I'm jerking it down now and just kind of letting it sit for a little bit. That's a nice black crappie there. I'm just going to reel it down a little bit. I'm just going to kind of let it sit there for a minute. And then I'll just kind of give it a twitch. Let it sort of sit. Give it a little twitch.
Oh, there he is. Is it? Woof, it is. No, I think it's. He hit it. Let it go. You know, you got to wonder how a fish can hit a crankbait or a jerk bait with two treble hooks on it and not get hooked, but sometimes they do. Okay, I'm gonna crank it down to about its six maximum depth and just kind of let it sit for a minute. Back in the day when I was bass fishing and just learning how to use a jerk bait, the old saying was, oh, you just gotta let it sit, let it sit, let it sit. Said, just smoke a cigarette, let it sit there. Well, I can tell you, I'm not that patient and I won't do that. They're gonna hit it or they won't. I'll let it sit for a little while, but number one, I don't smoke. Number two, if I did, I couldn't sit there that long. Oh, there he is. Oh, he came off. Come on now, quit doing that. These folks are gonna start thinking I'm lying to them. There he is, oh yeah. And I'll tell you, the colder the water gets, the better the jerk bait bite is. And the colder it gets, the longer you do have to let it sit sometimes. This water temperature is 47 degrees today. It's cooling off, but it's a long way from being real good and cold. I'll catch these fish on this jerk bait when that water's 38 degrees. They're not monsters, but I don't care. I'm not in a tournament, I'm out here to have fun and catch fish, and boy, they've been cooperating this morning. There's a whole group of them right here on the back corner of this dock. There's fish all over in front of this dock and big group back here. These fish seem to be active. These fish out here, I just can't get them to bite very well, so I don't know, that's, that's the deal. You'll find some fish, groups, you can throw through them and throw through them and they just will not bite. They're just not active, they're not feeding. And then you find some and, and they're just the opposite. You'll catch them. So just because you find one group and can't catch fish, don't, don't give up on them. Uh, that group kind of kind of moved a little bit, it looks like, on the live scope. And they'll do that, those big groups of fish will just roam around and you'll have them for a minute and then they'll kind of move. There they are out there. They've moved a little bit. I'm gonna get a little closer out here. There, oh, he was on there. Come on. Probably throw a jig out there and let it fall through him and get your arm broke too, but I want to catch him with a jerk bait, so that's what I'm going to do. I may get a jig out here in a minute, but as long as they're biting this jerk bait, I'm going to have fun with them. I'll tell you, this little six foot uh, B&M sharpshooter rod is, is a great rod for doing this kind of fishing. I, I'm short, obviously, and uh, I like a short rod for jerk baiting. Six foot's the maximum rod length I'll use, and sometimes I'll use a five and a half, which B&M also makes a five and a, er, oh man, also makes a, a five and a half foot uh, dock shooter, and that's a great rod for this. <laughs> They're not monsters. But when they yank on that string, it sure is fun. Gets you some jerk baits. Now these, these jerk baits are kind of pricey, but uh, you can get those frenzy shads uh, and, and you can catch them on those too and they're not nearly as expensive. 
caught a lot of fish jerk bait in a frenzy shad. Man, there are a lot of fish under this dock. I'm gonna have to shoot under there too. That sun's starting to come up now. We'll see what it does to them. I just, I don't know, these fish out front here just will not bite for some reason. And there's a bunch of them out there. These fish out here are more in the wind. These are a little protected from it. I don't know if that's got something to do with it or what, but somebody smarter than me can chime in and let us know what the deal is here. But I cannot get those fish in front of that dock to bite, but these on the back corner back here, a little more out of the wind or more aggressive. Oh, there he is. Boy, I let that set for a pretty good while. Did you all see that? And then he came and drilled it. Oh, did he come off? Yeah, he did. That gummit. All right, well, I'm going to just let it sit for a little bit longer then. Just see if that'll trigger him. All right, I'm going to stop reeling. I'm just going to sit here for a minute. Just kind of letting it sit there. We'll give it a little jerk. They'll come up and they'll just watch that bait. And if it's just sitting there not moving, sometimes they'll just sit and watch it and you just give it a little twitch and that'll trigger a strike. Well, nothing that time. And you just gotta play with them, see what mood they're in. Sometimes they want it just sitting still for a long, long time and then they'll hit it. And some days they want it moving and so, jerk it fast and, and uh, keep it moving and you just got to figure out what mood they're in. So just experiment. Sometimes these fish will get right up underneath the docks and be sitting right under it. And you bring this jerk bait down alongside the dock and they'll come out from under it and just crush it. All right, let's see. That sun's kind of come up now. Let's see if they've sort of moved or now see, I'm scanning where there was a lot of fish out here in the open. They're not here now. And it looks like they've moved up underneath that dock. So with that sun, it may have driven them in there. Let's, uh, let's get a jig and see if we can shoot under there. Oh, that's going to catch one. Got him. Yeah, I knew they had to be there. Had to be there. Another one just like it. Black. Under the dock. Nice little keeper fish there. I got my just a 16th ounce orange jig head, two inch muddy water, monkey glow bait. This water is so clear. That ought to be a bait they'll like today. Okay, folks, I think they've gotten wise to me over here. Let's move, do a little scanning, see if we can find another big school somewhere else. Where did my school of fish go? There's some out there just suspended out there in the open. Oh, that could be a potential jerkbait fish. Let's see. There he is, I knew they were out there. Well, I'll tell you, they're liking this color. I switched to a different color and did not catch a fish on it. Came back to this uh, purple and chartreuse. That's a nice little black crappie there. They're liking that color. Well, look how th thick the back on that fish is. You see that? When you talk about nice fillets, that'd be a good eating fish. But somebody else is going to have to catch it and eat it, not me. Gosh, I love that. Let's see if we can get another one. Sure hope I don't lose this. That's the only one I got in that color, I think. I'll be going to Tombstone Tackle 
on Monday asking Adam, come on, get me some more. Oh man, there are a ton of fish out here in the open around this dock. The way this wind's blowing, it's going to be tough to fish the dock itself. There's a lot of fish under it. But maybe we can catch some out here in this open water because they're out there. Boy, there's one hit it. You see that on the graph? My goodness, look at all those fish. We got to be able to catch one out of there. I saw them when we came in on the side scan. We can just make them bite. There's a ton of fish there. Oh boy, they're hitting it. Just not taking it. Well, let's move on up here and throw right down the edge of this dock. They're under there. We're sure gonna shoot under there, but that wind's blowing the boat right at the dock, so it's gonna be a little tough, but might have to spot lock out and shoot off the back of the boat. Well, look at that. Man. Come on, fish. Get active. There's one. There he got it. There, there had to be a fish in there that'd eat it. Yeah. There we go. Boy, that looks familiar. Nice little keeper black crappie on the old jerk bait. Yep. We'll take it. Let's get us another one. Man, I've thrown everything at these fish. They just won't bite. Got a spoon, jig, jerk bait. Caught a couple of them on jerk bait. I'm gonna move on and see if I can find some more active fish. There's some fish way back in there. I don't know if I'd ever get to them or not. There they are, 28 feet in there. I don't think I can reach them. Don't think I can reach them. But we'll give it our best. Oh boy. Oh, reached one of them. We reached one of them. Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish there. Or better than we've been catching. That's not to say much, but that's a nice little black crappie there. Saw him under there and reached out and touched him. Let's try that again. Got him. Got him. Okay, that means we have to shoot another one in there. Yeah. All right. Man, how do they all look alike? Boom. Sorry, pal. Go in there and tell your big fat mama that I splashed you to come out and get me. I mistreated you. Oh yeah.
Come on. Yep, I started to say, I know that jig's coming right down through. What a fish. If I didn't catch one, look at there, white crappie. Boy, we haven't caught many of them today. That's a nice little white crappie. I knew we were coming through them. Just a question of would they bite it? Boy, I'll tell you, how can there be so many fish in a wad and just catch one or two? I think they get wise to you. Look at there. You think there's fish in there? I'm gonna catch one in here, folks. I'm just gonna tell you right now. I'm giving you my guarantee. Ha! Huh. Yep. Come on. I gave the folks my Mike Baker guarantee. Don't make a liar out of me. I told you. I told you. Oh, come on, can I get him out of there? I got him. When I give you my guarantee, look at there, we got a school of whites. These are a little better fish here. Let's see what this one, how long this fish is. All right, let's see. Yeah, that fish is 11, a little over 11, and a, right at 11 and a half inches. 11 and a half, that's a great little fish. Thank you. Man, what's that? Oh, look at there, a foul hooked him right in the belly. I thought, that's weird. Look at there, if they get close to me, I'm gonna catch them. He's up, that's one of those upside down fish. Nice little black crappie. Got him right in the gut. Boy, he's fat. That'd make a great filet. All right, sorry about that. Look at that screen, folks. I'm gonna show you this front screen. That's what I'm shooting into right there. A lot of fish down there. Okay, I'll tell you, I've switched over and I've gone to a little Bobby Garland baby shed, but I do a little something. That's blue ice, but I take my little chartreuse marker. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I put a little line right down the side of it, a little chartreuse line. It's got uh, that garlic scent on it, and I've gone to just a uh, 1 16th ounce pink head. So I just run that through there and ride out the tail like that, push it up on that little wire keeper. Got a little loop knot. That's my bait. All right, let's move on just for the heck of it. There's plenty of fish to catch here, but let's just go look somewhere else. I've got one more spot I want to go hit where I've caught some good fish, but I suspect they're all going to be the same. There they are. Right where I expected they'd be. Look at that, folks. Wow. They're under that dock. It's a good dock. Okay, about worn out, but let's see if we can catch just a few more. Hit it. We 
way down there. Oh, that one. No, oh, he's just deeper. He felt better. It's a good fish, but not much different. White crappie. White crappie. Okay. Another white. Oh my gosh, look at that screen. Do you think those fish are under there? Good Lord. Let's get here. There's some openings on the back side of this too. We'll be kind of more out of the wind. They're loaded under there. Shoot in there. Go. Yep. Didn't take long, did it? When they're stacked that thick, they gotta, they gotta hit it. And they did. Black. White, black, white, black. There he is. There he is. Great fish. <laughs> Just a nice fish. Folks, I quit. I'm worn out. What is it? It's uh, 120. Get that fish back in there. So, what have we learned today? Water temperature is 54.88 degrees. These fish are just scattered in big groups. Some under the docks, some not. A bunch under the docks, but they're not under every dock. That's for sure. And so you just gotta hunt for them. And uh, when you get on them, you can just catch them and catch them and catch them. I, I'd hate to venture a guess how many fish I've caught today. Uh, you know, I don't know, 60, 70 fish. I can't show them all to you. This video would be six and a half hours long, but uh, I'll show you a few of them. Caught a few on a jerk bait. I love to catch them on a jerk bait, but it seems like what you'd expect as that sun gets up, they get more reluctant to hit that jerk bait. But first thing in the morning when it's kind of uh, still a little dark or overcast, and those fish are out there roaming and feeding, they'll hit that jerk bait. But I'm going to tell you, these fish are going to get better. This dock shooting is going to get better. These bigger blacks are going to move in here as this water temperature drops. 54 degrees is really on the upper end of when I usually dock shoot. Uh, I don't know, it's been really warm this uh, late fall, winter, I guess it is now, it's December. But as this temperature drops, I promise you the dock shooting is going to get better and the fish are going to get bigger. So get down here to the Lake of the Ozarks, get you a good shooting rod like this b and a little Bobby Garland, a little muddy water, two inch bait. You don't need a very big bait. Although those big fish, when they move in, they'll hit a big old bait too. And so will the small one. So you just got to experiment. Start big and go small, start small, go big. When you find what they're biting, just stick with it. But uh, sure has been fun. I've had a great time, beautiful day. Thanks for being with me. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, I hope you'll subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Thanks for being with me.